hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i make my labels for my small business at home um so if this is something that you're interested in then stay tuned i'll figure out now what i want got what i need ladies help me sing it up now then right yeah i love myself all right guys so i'm back uh, I don't think I can zoom in. Okay, so I have a bit of a dilemma. I have, I spent a lot of money on these equipments over here. So I have a camera and I have a camcorder, but I have no idea how to use it to record videos. Because <sighs> I'm tired of my videos being like crappy quality. So I got to work on it. I have this camcorder that I got from Amazon. I don't know if anybody knows anything about it. So I recorded on it and it was working good. And, but look, I don't know if you could tell, but the camera won't focus on the picture. So I don't know. I kept zooming in, zooming out. I have no idea what to do. So if anybody knows what to do with this camera, please leave me any type of comment in the description box below. I'm also going to go on YouTube and try to find out how to use this camera. It's an HD high definition touch panel. 240 megapixels, I guess. I don't know. And I got this cute little tripod with it. So it's really cute. And it comes with like a remote. So if I want to like, if I record, if I want to like pause, stop, take a picture, whatever, that's really cute. And it has a, a microphone, like super convenient for everything. And I also bought this Canon on Black Friday. It was on sale, which is great, but it records. But I have no idea how to get it on the tripod. So it is really, really heavy and it costs a lot of money. The last thing I want to do is break it. So it's the Canon Rebel T6 EO5. It's really nice. Takes beautiful pictures. So I'm going to start taking pictures with this for my um, website. You know, small business, blah, blah, blah. But I want to be able to record on this too. And the cool thing is it looks like this microphone fits on this. Cool, right but I don't know how to get it on the tripod uh so anyway that's my rant for now and yeah anyway back to the video so I hope you guys can see this okay I'm trying my best to figure out how to use my new system cameras and such so once I find figure that out I will be able to have nicer videos so just bear with me a little bit longer guys all right so I made a few Whip soaps last night, uh, sugar whip soap scrubs. This is Love Spell. This is what my whip soap looks like. I don't wanna put my hands in it because they're orders. Oh, but I made this one for my daughter. This is just a regular whip soap. This one is bubble gum, it smells so good. But as you can see, the label is getting messy. She had it for a while and I gotta peel this tape off which I don't know if it's going to come off. I might just have to tape over it. But anyway, this is the consistency of it. Very smooth. Very nice. She's going to be mad at me for sticking my hands in her soap. But I washed my hands before I did this because I knew I was going to be doing this video. Now I'm going to wipe this off. So anyway, so I have two, four, six, eight soaps that I have to make labels for all here. And I'm going to be showing you guys how I do this. So I use two, um, I use two websites. So this is my old label. I go on avery.com, which is super convenient because you can buy these labels on Amazon or whatever staples and you can print them right at home very very convenient so these are like the labels that I buy some of them um so super super convenient the only thing is with Avery you can't use your like like I can't use this label so let's say if I want to put this on a hat or a shirt or something like there's no way to put this in a pdf to just use like olive j with this low um design 
So I went to Canva. Um, I hope you guys can see. I feel like this is super blurry. And if it is, I'm so, so sorry. So let me open my other design. So I went to Canva and I made this label and this label is actually going to go on 22820 so one of the things that you can that you can do when you are making um labels with avery is you can go up to change the template and you can pick whatever template that you have so the one that i'm going to choose is 22820 and it's the oval labels and you can select this go up and down or you know side by side so i'm obviously gonna select side by side and yes i know this tells you it has a different number of prints on it and then it looks like this so you can like move it around the only thing with this image is i can't um what you gonna call it i can't edit it because i took it from can canva and i it like this unless I did unlock background and then I would be able to move it around or make it bigger if that's what I wanted to do or I can set it as a background and if I want to do that I can put the name of the soap here well this one's for a body butter and then I can put the ingredients on this side like this and you know play with it a little bit so <clears throat> another cool thing about avery is that you can edit these one by one so the first one let's say if i wanted to make it a, a whipped body butter label and then the second one i wanted to do um a whip soap label and a whip soap label and whip, actually you can kind of see that i did that i had a spice red tea body butter but then i made a whipped body butter regular um <clears throat> no scent and i just needed one label for that and the rest printed out the spice red tea body butter so um there's three sheets Obviously, I'm not printing out all three sheets. So that's one cool thing about it. So what I did is, if you're first new to Avery, you go to choose a template. Uh, choose a template. So you go to choose a template. And over here on this side, I hope you guys can see let me zoom out just a little bit close the blinds so it's not too blurry so you can go over to this side and you can pick like address labels cds dvd covers business cards blah 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 um or you can like search if you're using a certain one like i did 22820 then you just search it select it now if you're first new and you're like oh my god i don't know what kind of label i should use then you can do like business cards you can make, I haven't tried that yet because I make my business cards on um, what the name of this website? Vistaprint, I do my, my business cards on. But other products, and then it just tells you like wristbands, vouchers, display cards, products and container labels. And that's what I use, product and container labels. So let's say I'm going to use, you know, the 22820. Let's just say I'm going to use that. And then you get to choose a design. So you can use it for whatever it is. You can do a, a blank basic design, something like this. You can do what's new where you can, you know, like you take this out and then you just put whatever you want to put on it. Um, so let's say if you want to do like a Black Friday something, well, I know Black Friday's over, but Black Friday sale, you want to do like a promotion, something on a lip gloss, give it out to your customers for free. Um, you can do that. So 
This is business and occupation. Animals, art, beauty and health, if you're doing skincare or something like that. So they have all this kind of stuff. You know, you can just play with it. Now you can either choose one of their designs, copy from a saved file, or, um, you know, pick whatever one you want. These are all my saved files. Or you can upload a, com a complete design. And you go to select files, whatever image it is, click open, and then it does it. So uh, I don't think I have any images that I can just like run through real quick without making this video crazy super long for no reason i'm supposed to just be showing how to make my labels but i also just want to give like a little overview on how to use the website so once you do that um you can customize it your label and then preview and print so what we're going to do is we're just going to go to open i'm going to show you guys how to i customize so we can finish going with the Spice tea, open that. All right, so we're gonna choose the template that I want. 22820. We're gonna click select this template. You have to click that. Select how you want it. I'm gonna select sideways. Yes, I know that template has a different number of things. And this is under the customize. So you click on what it is that you want to customize. So this also tells you like the safety area. So if you see it in red, then it's not going to print out properly. So what I'm looking at now is I'm just trying to find a different font because I'm not really feeling that one. The one that I used before was called um, Homemade Apple. Anyway, so I'm just trying to figure out what font I like. Yeah, I don't really like this one, but um, maybe it's where it is. Like, I wish I could move this olive J up, you know, but I can't because I uploaded this, so I can't. Um, mess with this that's the only thing i don't like it with canva you can do a lot more a lot more things okay so now i just have to figure out the ingredients uh not really i guess i can put it up here and put this down here but i just feel like it's very very smushed Maybe if I change the color. Okay, so there's another thing I can show you how to change the color. So you see this little color wheel over here? I can change it maybe to this tan color to match the flowers. All right, so peach color. So if this is not the color you want, you can go to select color from image and click on it. Okay, okay so I did all of the labels. I put under edit one edited each one one by one so i did the sugar scrubs when they were sugar scrubs and i just did the regular whip soap and whip soap make sure i have all the ingredients listed um so i picked label 22820 which i have here 22820 i got these from staples um you can use an laser printer or an ink jet printer so what you do is you just open it. <laughs> Pretty obvious guy. And I bring you over to my printer and I will show you what to do. So and before I do that, so I'm going to go to preview and print, which you're allowed to do. This just says caution if you're like fonts too small. I just continue anyway. Um, so what I do is I press preview and I zoom it in so I can really see what it's gonna look like. Um, I think I like it because it's kind of gonna wrap around the bottle a little bit. I'm just gonna try it out. 
the thing about when you own your own business, everything's trial and error. So, I mean, it is what it is. Why is this printing out? So, it's cool. Another thing that you can do, I'm not sure if you can see down here where it says, like, add a sheet. Obviously, I'm not going to do that again because I just deleted it. I forgot to tell you about it. So, you can add another sheet. So, let's say if I was printing, you know, um, 16 labels of my um, bubblegum whip soap. So, I can add another sheet and have it print two sheets back to back of the same thing. Um, or if I wanted to print for bubblegum, for whatever, cashmere, for on the spell, then I can just like print them all like that. So now I'm gonna go to preview and print. I'm gonna continue anyway, because I don't listen. I'm gonna zoom it in so I can really get the feel. So this is exactly how your label is gonna print out when you zoom it in and you see everything. So I like it. So I'm going to go print it myself or you can go to um, have them print it, mail it to you. I'm not going to do that. So if let's say if you just want to print four labels and you wanted to save the other ones, you go to fill direction. It's always better to do fill up and down because if you fill across, I'm telling you so many times my labels got me mixed up um, and they would print where I already took labels off. It was just a mess. So I always fill up and down. And when you do that, you can fill like one through three, two, I mean, print it out. So when it's up and down, it shows you the first three that it's gonna print out and then it's gonna have this, these ones left. Um, okay, so let me see the things. But I'm going to print all of my labels. So I'm just gonna go to print all Fill up and down doesn't really matter when it gets so you get the PDF. They say you rec they recommend that you save it. Anytime you change the label around, they ask you to save it. I always save it. So I'm just gonna put multi label soap. Multi soap label. Label soap, whatever. Um, so that way I know when I go back in, I have these soap labels, multi labels. So I open my PDF. This is what it's gonna look like when it prints. Go to my printer. I'm gonna go put this in really quick. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm just gonna bring you to the printer, show you that I put it in. I like to put it in with the number facing up. So let's say if you was just printing one, two, three, or four, so that it doesn't get mixed up. Uh, say hi, Devin. Hi, I'm so glad that you Debbie. And sorry, I'm setting up for my pictures to be taken. All right, so I go make sure everything's set up. Make sure I got my printer here. Make sure it's printed in color, not black and white. All of this, and then I just press print. Voila. And then back it up. Not too much. And then it prints. Let me just go back over to the printer. I wouldn't suggest touching your labels right away. Give it a minute to dry because it'd be still wet and then you can smudge it and that would stink. And this is just a regular um, inkjet printer, not a laser jet. So you can clearly tell that this is still very, very, very wet. So I'm not gonna touch it. I'm gonna hold it in my hand like a pizza. <laughs> there it is, Ian, get out of here. Oh, this dog, he likes to be in here when I'm working and he knows he can't be. All right, so these are the labels, the cashmere whip soap, the base, apple pie so yeah everything printed out perfect all right so i'm gonna give this a few minutes just to kind of dry and then i'll be right back all right guys so i printed my label oh my god looks like i have a white head this sun is not doing me any justice today anyway <laughs> i didn't even do my hair today and nothing it's just like i dyed it took the braids out gave it a break 
gave myself a new look for the new year, dyed it, cut it, and my hair grew out so much from doing the braids. Anyway, so yay, I did one. Here it is. This is the cashmere whip sugar scrub. I think I like the label. Um, I think it kind of matches really cute with this. So let me do the bubblegum one. And see how I like it. Yeah, I think I like it. I think it looks cute. Better than up and down. I think it was better that I did it by the sideways. So, um, yeah, I'm going to finish putting the labels on. And then package these up and ship them out. So I will make another video on how I package my orders and ship them out. So um, pros and cons of Avery. So it's good for like simple um, labels, really fast, like get it done at home, do it, mail it out. Um, when you become like, um, like, you know, biggest scale and stuff like that, I'm not there yet, but I'm getting there then i will use like a different type of design and website because these are nice but i sh i want to be able to design it how i want to design it and you're kind of limited here like canva is good um but to me i thought canva was kind of confusing to use like just this simple design took me like a month to do um oh my camera's dying <laughs> my phone's dying okay so that's the end of this video if you like it give me a thumbs up hit subscribe subscribe subscribe, subscribe, subscribe button and um yeah give me a like share post follow me on instagram cynthiaamboutique.com also on facebook check my website out i also do wholesale orders just hit me up let me know what you need everyone be safe be well happy new year and i'll see you in the next video bye